Okay, one of the most powerful thing about operations for log is exploring the logs. So let's do that, shall we? So if we go here, we explore the logs, you'll get onto the screen, right? If you've tied in your uh, vCenter, if you tied in your operations, uh, data will start coming in. Likewise, if you tie in additional resources using either um, agents or a management pack, um, more data will come in as well. What happens along the way is um, the data gets ingested and then of course um, additional fields get added so that way it makes it easier for you to search for so so let's let's do that shall we let's do a search for say error right if we search for error all the error logs will show up within the events now we can go deeper right so instead of looking at every single error we can say i'm interested in let's say let's let's look for a particular machine eConnect or eConnect reset right so we could actually add additional um, t content in, and we can say, hey, I want to see this. Now we can go deeper and deeper and deeper and just keep adding more filters in till you start narrowing down the kind of concerns that you have, right? So this is currently looking at every five minutes of data, but you can actually change it to every the last hour. Or as you can see for all the, all the other options, you can actually just keep adding it in till you identify the section in time that you want to look at. All right, so that's one piece. The second piece, of course, is not only can you do from the event side, but you can also do from the field side. So you can take a look at the field table and start looking at the same data. You just happen to look at at, at a different perspective. Likewise, if you go to event types, you'll see, you know, here are all the particular problems for this kind of scenario. Likewise, and you keep going down. Right. And then last but not least, um, event trends, you get to see a lot of the data that's coming in, either that it, it's trending upwards, which which would be a huge concern because it's actively hitting the problem or trending downwards, which means that it's it's starting to go away. So those are the kind of things that will help you um, narrow down your search, narrow down your concern areas. Now, this is all live, all active at the moment. But what you can also do is you can actually highlight, check on this to add this particular query to your uh, favorite. Therefore, at a later date, you can always go back and search for the same exact thing without typing it in, without setting it up, without setting the time. Likewise, you can actually send this over to your dashboard. So that way, when you come in, you don't have to go into you know exploring logs. You can see it from your dashboard of all the activities. You can send alerts right and then you can share this out to your colleagues so that's just a brief overview of what it looks like when you're going through the logs um, at a later date i will go much deeper in showing you some of the the key tricks on on mastering um looking for logs okay